Today I'm going to show how to enable Skype video calling on the Arcos 32 internet tablet like you see here. Now on the Arcos 32 internet tablet it has the camera on the back side of the device. So if you want to do video calling like Skype you will have to hold this up to the mirror so that way you can see the screen when you're using the camera. I am now going to try to list all the steps you need to do to enable Skype video calling on the Arcos 32 tablet. The first step is to make sure you have Android 2.2.1 firmware version 2.4.19 which was just recently released in August of 2011 or a newer firmware version if one exists. You can find out which firmware version is installed on the Arcos 32 by selecting settings here on the home page. And then you go down to the bottom and select about device here. Then on this page you go down until you see firmware version. If you and this lists what firmware version you have. Mine is already updated 2.4.19, Android 2.2.1. Don't know if you can make that out. And then if you need the, if you have an older firmware version and if you currently have the A32 connected to Wi Fi, you can select firmware update here. And then it's checking for any available updates. Mine is up to date. Sometimes they'll tell you that it's up to date even when it's not. If that's the case, you have to go back to the home screen, then go to browser, and you gotta go to Arcos's page here. The one that looks like this. It's under support. It's under support and account. And then you click on downloads here. And then it'll put you on the, then it'll let you select firmware. And you want to select the firmware for the Arcos Gen 8 models, which includes the 32. Now, once you download the firmware to your Arcos 32 tablet, you will need the cable that comes with the Arcos 32 and plug it in to the USB port of your computer while it's upgrading and you leave it plugged in until it's done upgrading. The second step to enabling the Skype video calling feature on the Arcos 32 internet tablets is that Google Marketplace must be installed on your A32 tablet since Skype compatible app for the Arcos 32 is not included with Arcos own, Arcos's own app store. You can find the file you need to download to get the market on your Arcos 32 by going to Google here. Just go to Google and search for G apps for Arcos and then a dot and an APK. Just search Google or Yahoo and then you can usually find one that says something like download this file and just push that one, select it and just follow the instructions and you just follow the instructions to install it. The third step to enabling video calling on Arcos 32 is to go into the Google Marketplace thing. I'm going to push that. That puts me on this screen. And then if you successfully install the market, there should be one that says market here with an Android looking guy on it. Just push that one. I'll go back here, select that one there in the market. Now it's going into the Google Market, Android Market. It's loading. And then you just look for Skype. You type it in. I already have it on here because I already installed it on mine. I'm going to select it. And then at the bottom of the page, it'll say install if you don't have it installed yet. And if you already have it installed, it'll say open. 
All right, now the final step is to open up Skype. As you can see, it's right here. Let's open it up. Oops, I opened the wrong one. There we go. Now I'm in the Skype menu, or the opening screen here for Skype. And the, it has, like, different options here. You got recent, contacts, profile, and call phones. So... Since I already had an account, I didn't have to enter a username or password. But if you don't have an account, it will ask you to put in a username and password first. But in, And in order to make video calls, it's free. But to call landlines, it, it costs money. But as long as you're just doing video calls it's on Skype, currently it's free. And to enable video calling, you go down to this button here. And you gotta to enable video calling. You gotta go to settings here, and just go down to where it says enable video calling, and make sure that's check marked here. And it'll say back camera only on the Arcos 32, since there's only the one camera on the back. And that's about it. That's about all there is to get um, Skype to do video calling on Skype. Now all you have to do is just find somebody to call. Okay, now you're looking at the Arcos 32 internet tablet screen here, running Skype. And the big picture, this big picture here, that's what the camera is capturing on the Arcos. Right now it's showing a keyboard. And there's the computer screen. And then this little screen here, that's what the camera that my computer is capturing, the image that my computer's camera is capturing. And I've noticed that on the Arcos that the video quality to the computer is not as good as what the quality obviously is um, from the computer to my Arcos is. And also the video that the audio, there's some audio distortion problems because of the probably limitations of the tablet. And on this screen here, it's sometimes this image that's sent to the from the Arcos to the PC is sometimes slow and gets falls behind like a minute or two, which is kind of strange. But overall, you can see it works. That Skype on the Arcos 32 tablet does indeed work. So finally we can now make um, video calls um, using the Arcos 32 internet tablet. Finally I wanted to briefly mention that on the Arcos 32 internet tablet here that doesn't have, since it doesn't have built-in speakers, you'll need to have a headphone to listen to a conversation. But if you wanted to, you could take a cable like this one here that has a headphone jack on this end and on the other end has a white and red jack, RCA type jack here, and just plug it into like a TV and just plug it into the TV's audio input channel and then you should be able to listen to Skype on your through your TV. But of course you still use this for the microphone though. The bottom part here is where the microphone is located on the Arcos 32 tablet.